Whoa, it's the illusion reporting from somewhere on spaceship Earth. Wanted to talk about the most extreme sport on the planet. L-I-V-I-N. That's right, living. The most extreme sport on the planet. And it is definitely a full contact sport. No doubt about it. It's funny, um... I'm in this place, right, where I've I've been through the fire. I've literally been through the fire, got on the other side, super centered, super solid. And now, like, people are reaching out to me, friends and acquaintances of mine, and they're in the middle of the fire, right? You know, we help uh, when one person's down, you help them up, and it keeps going. And um, it's very interesting because why why I think it's so interesting is the escapism. Everybody's trying to escape it. But the real secret to it all is to go right into it. That's what I learned over the last year. As radical and gnarly and full contact as life is, you got to go right into the fire, man. You got to jump right into it. You've got to do exactly what what Neo does and jump right into Agent Smith's chest. Boom! Jump right into the thing. It's funny because I see, I, there's, from what I can tell, there's people that, that are unwilling to play the game, right? They're just sitting there in their comfy little denial zone, pretending that life's all about collecting trinkets and pretending to be happy and looking a certain way and acting a certain way. And, you know, if I just follow the status quo, everything's gonna be okay. And I'm sure there's a certain aspect to that. I I don't know what that looks like because I've never done it. And then there's this fence sitter part of life of, Kind of sitting in the middle of it, not really going with the uh, the status quo, but not really L I V I N. And because because living is not safe. Truly living is the most hectic high wire act of all time, and it's rad. And I've only can say that because I've. I walked it. I got to, I got, have you ever seen the movie where the guy walks from the one World Trade Center to the next World Trade Center? It's like that. Like I walked over the wire, over the abyss. I got to the other side, re-intact life, the whole thing. And now I see other people that are, are walking over the, their own high, high wire and You fall, you fall all the way down and splat. Or you walk to the other side, or you jump and the net appears and you get wings. There's all sorts of trippy options once you're uh, once you're L-I-V-I-N. And it's rad, I'm pumped, I'm gonna go skate. And the reason I was thinking about this, I just got off the phone with my my buddy, who's, uh, who's a single dad. His wife went off the deep end. He's he's got like a two-year-old daughter he's raising by himself right now. Right? And he uh he called me for some advice this morning. We got we got through the uh we got through the thing and he texted me back. He's like, I got through the thing and I couldn't have done it without you. And it's like life's a team sport, right? Life's all about a unified energy field. None of us can do this alone. That's the thing I, I'm fully more and more convinced. As much as I want to be a hermit and, and that guy, I, I know every day more and more that none of us can do this alone. It's almost impossible. Yeah, you can go sit, you can go sit in the middle of the uh, Alaskan outback and build your own log cabin. Absolutely. It's a it's a it's a full potential. It's super extreme. But man, can you get into the middle of this thing? This this crazy spinning spinning world of 
millions and millions of people and keep your sanity and yet take care of your people and take care of yourself and not crack that's extreme dude like I'm gonna go to the skate park and like slam it's easy slamming's mellow compared to like slamming in real life I don't know I just think that people get off the couch man go live take some chances commit to those chances just commit to them when you hit the wall figure a way around it dig under it climb over it walk around it sprout some wings get a bulldozer whatever you gotta do the walls are where the data lies the, the barriers are where the information lies the barriers are not daunting they are the success of it that's that's what I realized without walls barriers pitfalls calamity there's no no way to gather information on this earthly level you have to test your faith. You have to test your resilience. You have to test your strength, endurance. You have to test yourself constantly because if you don't, you just become flabby and soft and lame and lazy and burnt and boring. Don't be boring. Go get radical, man. Go seize today. Get off the couch. Go Whatever your situation, go take a walk. Just get up, man. Just just rise up, dude, because whatever you're facing, whatever the challenge is, it's beautiful if you approach it the right way. And I know we all have, it doesn't seem that way, but what I've learned is that thought pattern has gotten me through the most hectic year of my life, where I can be, I'm 50 years in one day, and I'm fired up. I am fired up. I'm like coming into the prime of my life. I'm super amped. I'm gonna go skateboarding right now. How rad is that? I'm gonna go skateboarding. <sighs> yeah, I like that. I like that thought right there. Just gonna, I'm gonna go skateboarding. Cause skateboarding to me is like a vacation. It's like, I'm gonna go skateboard for an hour. It's like a vacation from the extreme sport called life. It's, it's funny like that. Anyway, this is the illusion. I was listening to a little, little Motorhead till the end. That song's got me so pumped lately. Till the end by Motorhead. Just listen to that on 11 and get fired up and just realize we've only got today. We've only got today. This is all we've got. There's no guarantees about tomorrow. And if we, if we base our whole today on the fear of tomorrow, we wasted today. Let's try not to waste today, people. And don't forget to use those name tags, the ones on people's chest. Links down below if you want to support the channel, buy some t-shirts, stickers, coffee cups, art, PayPal link down below, because you know, YouTube can kick rocks, man, but we're gonna use their platform because uh, it's today and we can today. All right, it's the illusion, fired up on the dream. I'm out. Oh, oh I think I bruised my, I got my slam. Oh, last, well, when it wasn't, it was like the third to last run. I had to like skate off, skate it off a bit. Jiminy Crickets. I was having this pretty good run for an old guy. I was loose and saucy and throwing down grinds all over the place. On my last grind, I kind of wobbled out of my out of out of a grind and came across and went up for just a basic like control, recontrol, pivot off the top and I came out and my and I just warbled and my back foot came off stuck my front foot was still going forward and I compressed my knee into my ribs and I've never had that kind of pain before I don't think I broke them because I skated some more but man it definitely hurts I definitely I definitely jacked myself up but uh that kind of L-I-V-I-N 
makes me feel alive. Like I may be physically like hurt right now, but man, I earned it. I feel good. I was a rad session. I had a rad session. I didn't think I was gonna have a rad session. I was kind of just coming in to skate and then uh, I got into it, man. I had a really, actually, it's one of those, you know when you haven't skated in a long time and you're kind of, you're just fresh, fresh and raw. Oh, I feel pretty, pretty fresh and raw right now. Oh, my knee, I'm just stoked I didn't really hurt myself. I smashed my knee on the concrete and somehow I'm so limber, I, I folded my knee into my ribs down here, like down here. Like right in here, my I. How did I get my knee into there? I I don't even know how that's humanly possible, but it is, and it and it and it feels so good. Skaters are but we're a sick lot. <sighs> feels so good. Yeah, L I V I N baby. Get off the couch, peeps.